Brown County is working to prevent the illegal sale of firearms. More specifically, area law enforcement wants to stop people from buying guns for those who legally aren't supposed to have one. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens takes a closer look at a new partnership looking to increase safety in the community. Law enforcement agencies in Brown County, along with Green Bay Area Crime Stoppers, hope a simple message makes people think twice. Our hope is that this is just a one more thing that we can do to keep those guns from getting into the wrong hands. The new initiative is aiming to curb what are called straw gun purchases. It's when a gun is purchased for someone who is legally not allowed to own a firearm. I think there are times where we see where people know exactly what they're doing. Uh, and then there are times where maybe it's a relative or a friend who doesn't realize how serious it is. 75 tactical mats were created and are being offered to businesses in Brown County that sell firearms. The mats will be placed on store counters and will include the penalties for buying a gun for someone else. If convicted, a person faces up to 15 years in prison and as much as a $25,000 fine. If you do make an illegal gun purchase and that gun is used in criminal activity or, or violence, in reality, you're putting yourself at the scene as if you're pulling the trigger. According to the Green Bay Police Department, over the last two years, they've seen six to ten instances of weapons-related incidents where the firearm was bought for someone that was not legally allowed to possess a gun. Nelson Tactical on Velp Avenue in Green Bay was the first business to receive mats. Our business is selling firearms to people recreationally, and we don't want that to get a bad name because of people who shouldn't own them. Law enforcement departments across the county and businesses agree that being proactive is better than being reactive. In Green Bay, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. So I just going to get into why, you know, you wanted to partner with this and, you know, why you feel it's, you know, important to help, you know, obviously you know, keep the word out for people in hopes of deterring you know, well, these types of sales. Absolutely. We've been active here in the community since 1987 and we've been partnering with law enforcement all those years in different programs to help um, deter crime here in the community. And this is just one another one of those programs which we think are vitally important. We were contacted by ATF and Green Bay PD asking if we would sponsor this program and work with them in putting this program together to stop the uh, illegal sales of, per of guns or straw purchases as they're called. And we are ready to step up and we're just glad to be a able to be a partner with the police departments here in Brown County to be part of that. And obviously now you also, you know, you work pretty closely with the community. So I guess, is there anything you've heard from people in terms of, you know, is this something they they're actively worried about, you know, something like this? Well, I think we all are worried about it because we see that what these guns can do in our communities, the violence, the criminal activities that occur. And what we're trying to do is get the word out to those people. You come in, if you're not, if, or I should say, if you're buying a gun for someone that can't, that should, you know, draw some some curiosity right away as to why you're being asked to do that. But what we want to make sure is that people understand that if you do make an illegal gun purchase and that gun is used in criminal activity or, or violence, in reality, you're putting yourself at the scene as if you're pulling the trigger. And the question is, are you ready to do the time that it involves too when you get caught? Can I ask where the idea for mats came from? Was that something that had been seen before, how did you know that idea come? Sure, it, it, it kind of was a, a, a group discussion. We've had a great history in regard to our mats that we've had at the schools. I think there was a prior mention about that. Uh, in fact, we just won a national award through Crime Stoppers USA for the mats in our school program. So in reality, this is taking that mat program kind of another step, you know, shrinking it down for the counter maps so these uh, gun uh, dealers have something there that kind of can serve as a message to those people coming in, hey, if you're not supposed to be buying this gun or if you're buying it illegally for someone else, maybe you ought to think twice about it. And that's what we're trying to get the message to. And have any other chapters of Crime Stoppers, you know, throughout the country done anything similar to this? No, in talking with my counterparts uh, on a national basis, no one else has done this, and so we're glad to be kind of a, a forefront or a leader in, in doing this here in the community, and we're hoping that the success of this can be used nationwide as well once they see the results. I think, I think you You're good? All of our questions. Yeah. Is there anything that we didn't ask that you No, well, to we're just, it's just a pleasure to work with our, our law enforcement partners. That's what we're there for, and it, uh, it's a great partnership that will continue. Numbers-wise, do you know how many mats are being given out? 70, 75 mats were produced, and they will be distributed to those uh, dealers that 
who are wanting to be part of the program. And I really don't think we're going to have anybody not be part of the program, to be honest. I think they're all going to be interested in getting them. We may have to make another run. We'll see. And geographically, what's, what's the spread of the... All of Brown County. We represent all of Brown County, Green Bay, De Pere, um, Howard, you know, all of those communities. We're all under one roof here in this county. All right. Thank you so okay. much.